Good morning. It is five o'clock and today we're headed out to a large driveway project. The plan is today we're going to set up half of the driveway. Tomorrow we're going to pour that half and then on Wednesday we'll set the remaining half and then Thursday we'll go ahead and finish pouring the driveway. So there is a chance for rain on Thursday so um, plants could change a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll get down a little bit sooner but we'll see how it goes. How much garbage do we make? Morning, how's the apple business this morning? Oh, it's going pretty good. <laughs> this isn't where you're supposed to be. Okay. Have a good day. All right, it is 5.53, pulling in the yard. I'm here a little early, I have some stuff to do. Uh, there's a tool that I need to find and see if it still works that I'd like to use today for the pour. Morning, how are you? Using the I, street, I, I like your I like your sneakers. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, Al. Hey. You ready? Yeah. You in a good mood? I'm fine. What? I'm always fine. <laughs> I'm debating whether we just work late and set up one more pour and pour for tomorrow morning after we pour today. Well, you don't look happy about that. I don't, but I'll do what I got to do, brother. Morning, Daryl. How you doing? Yeah. Well, Good, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. Can I pull it over as you can? You ready? Yes, I'm very ready. Um, what's this? Dre gave you beautiful victory hoodies, and you're wearing that. Daryl, why don't you go and get fuel right away? I love that sound. Did you see when I blurred out your booty? Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, just give me three full trucks. All right, what kind of mix? Seven bag, low chert, air, microfiber, half percent, NCA. All right, concrete's ordered, concrete's ordered. Morning. Morning. Where you been? It's 629. Well, I'm on time. <laughs> uh, you got fuel in the truck, right? Yep. All right, there just just head out there. That guy in that blue car cuts people off for fun, apparently came within a couple inches of my bumper a couple inches of that guy's bumper I'll tell you I'm in Milwaukee right now and in Milwaukee people have no regard for anybody else's life or safety and unfortunately it's come to the point where they don't have any regard for their own life or safety um, I guess the morale in the city is is to that point it's so low uh, that people don't care if they live or die it's really sad actually there's only one answer to Milwaukee's problems it's sitting right there on my dash so we just got here to the job and uh it rained a lot last night and the gravel is really really i mean really squishy which is going to be a big problem for the concrete trucks there's no way we'll be able to get them in here so um we're going to lay down plywood on top of the gravel and uh we're going to pull the concrete trucks on top of the plywood i hate to do that it's a lot of extra work while we're pouring but uh, if I put concrete trucks up here on this gravel, I mean, it's hard underneath, but the surface is squishy and it will make a gigantic mess. No, I'm pulling the truck up. Unless it, unless it starts to turn into a complete disaster, then we're going to use a buggy. But All right, so the guys are putting mesh in. Junior is putting the tools on the buggy, uh, the pouring tools, bowl float, etc. The animals are over here just kind of watching. I'll just be honest, when you order a whole bunch of concrete and then you have an issue like that, knowing that can turn into a big issue, you just, you get nervous because it's like $4,000 of concrete and uh, you just want it to go right. Careful there. I know, I you almost hit him right in the head. No, I did not. Yeah. I'll tell you, this is a long walk, man. When you gotta go get a tool from the road. Long walk. Morning. Morning. You know what you're doing? Yes. Oh, you're confident. All right, so you got to stay on the plywood, man. The grade got real mushy. You ready? Yep. Don't mess up my gravel. All right, let's see what kind of disaster this is going to make. It's not horrible. Make sure you pull that wire, man. Oh, no. That tool's not to lean on. That's to pull the wire. That wire mesh has to be up in the concrete. Oh, no. All of it. It's really important. It's an important job. It's not as bad as I thought, so we'll see how this goes. All right, it's go time. I don't know why I always get so nervous when concrete's here. I don't know. It, 
I've been doing this my whole life. I still get nervous. Hold that wire, Daryl. I don't want no wire on the ground at all. Here, give me that. You don't know what you're doing with that. No, you don't. Touch the West Cree. I did not. Did you do that, Al? No. It's all scraped down. I know, but I didn't. Woo! Woo! Can you go a little faster, please? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Has anybody ever told you you're the man? <laughs> no, you, no? You there's a reason for that. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Have a good day. How's it going, Daryl? You just boss. Make sure you wash that good, all right? All right, all right. Quick update. Um, we were able to get this concrete poured. It actually went pretty good. So uh, that was 27 yards. Guys are up here finishing it. I can't believe you guys all just stand around and watch us work. Are you even serious? D didn't you see all the work we just did over there? Yeah, over there. You guys couldn't pitch in a little bit? I said, right now I'm trying to get these forms set. We gotta get this graded, man. Concrete's coming in 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and pour this all the way up to here at 12 o'clock. It's another 20, 25 yards or so. Ay, 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 ay. Don't worry, Dara, I'll help you in a second. Two at a time. Go by the forks. To your left there. Concrete's here. Uh oh. All right, concrete just showed up for our next pour, another 25 yards. So, guys are earning their pay today, We're working hard. You know what you're doing? No. Nope. Don't make the ball guy mad like you usually do, please. Nope. Careful with them rods. Don't pull the wire too high. Right on the edge there. This wire is all on the ground, Daryl. You're just standing there, dude. I thought you were gonna help us though. We got extra boots. Now stay in the middle, it's straight shot, right in the middle. We gotta put mesh in. Ow. Stop making tire tracks. Man. I don't know why this guy can't keep his truck straight. Look at his wheels. Striking off with bugs is a dream. Until he gets mad, right Al? Hey, how's it going? Good, you know what you're doing?
Well, screw around right down there, boys. Although they're gonna start to get mad at me if I stayed on top of this truck for much longer. I gotta go help them. Don't pull it off, Marcel. Slow by Al. Come on, yeah, man. Marcel. All right, Daryl. Wash this up, buddy. Wash it up good. Lord. That way you don't have to use the grinder tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I think he likes that thing. Uh, I, like I don't know about that. Too. So why is Bugs in a good mood today? Yeah. It makes no sense. We poured 50 yards and he's still in a good mood. Daryl. Mr. Daryl. Yes, sir. Can you wash that? Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll bring you donuts in the morning. You'll be all refreshed. You can bring donuts too? Yeah, I'll bring donuts and milk. Just like Friday. I don't need money, dude. I like to see these guys working. Uh, and what are you doing? Yeah, it looks like you're getting ready to do something. Good job. It's a lot of concrete today. Good job today, Daryl. Thank you. Good job. Good job, Al. It's a lot of mud, dude. Uh -huh. Good job. All right, it is a quarter to four. We worked hard today. We poured, it was 52 yards. I don't know what I said earlier. I think I said 54. It was actually 52 yards of concrete. And uh, we actually had to set half of that up in between pours. So uh, we poured 27. Uh, in the morning that was ready to go then we set the next 25 yards and then we pour the next 25 yards So we're all tired. The guys did an awesome job today uh, Everybody's gonna sleep good tonight. So see you guys in the morning. Adios <laughs>